Hey, have you ever seen the symbol of fire or the flame around your church? You might see them about the sanctuary, um, possibly on the church door or uh, the hymnal or even the church letterhead perhaps. Well, it all got started because of the day of Pentecost. Now, Pentecost, you say? Pardon me. What, pray tell, is this Pentecost that you speak of? Well, it is a special day in the life of the church. Actually, it's the first day, and many say it's the day the church was born. What does it all mean? Well, that's why we're here talking about Pentecost on this episode of Chuck Knows Church. Don't you stay lit this time. Yes, the fire, the, the flame, right? It brings our attention around to Pentecost. When, when witnesses saw what they called uh, tongues as a fire, it was considered the most miraculous gift of the Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost. So, you know, what's up with that day of Pentecost? Well, uh, after his resurrection, uh, Jesus told his disciples to go to Jerusalem and wait, where they would be fulfilled with the promise of the Father. Then came the day of Pentecost, which was actually a Jewish holiday, 50 days after Passover. In Greek, that means uh, Pentecostos. That's the word for 50. Uh, back then, uh, the day marked uh, a harvest celebration and pilgrimage feast. So, uh, there they were, all together, when suddenly there was a violent wind and divided tongues as of fire appeared among them and they were filled with the Holy Spirit. And uh, uh, they began to, to speak in all sorts of languages, uh, speaking in tongues, we call it. But yet, they all understood each other. Now, how is that, you might ask? Well, that's the uh, miraculous gift of the Holy Spirit part. And as they say, the church was born. Now, for the early church, uh, Pentecost was the second most important part of the Christian year uh, after Easter. Originally, it commemorated both uh, the ascension of Jesus and the descending of the Holy Spirit. But these became two distinctly different celebrations by the end of the fourth century. Okay. Um, and uh, many congregations use Pentecost as a time of, for rites of passage, such as uh, baptism, uh, confirmation, and receiving new members. <laughs> Got him. Gotta get up pretty early in the morning to fool old uh, Chucky Poo. By the way, only my mom is allowed to call me Chucky Poo, not you. It doesn't leave the sanctuary. <clears throat> If you would like to learn more about Pentecost, uh, don't forget to ask your pastor. Tell them Chuck sent you. Bah! Oh, well, it's, it's, a, it's a, like a numbers game. <laughs>